First, there doesn't seem to be a week that goes by without evidence of terrible consequences of knife crime. Young people in Salford are getting the chance to make a film about how knife crime is changing their lives, so their stories can be heard. Harvey Fletcher has more. Is that red one? Yeah. Learning the skills to tell the story of knife crime in Salford. These young people are working with Real MCR and Great Places Housing Group. In this area of Salford, we have quite a high number of children that are not in employment education or training. So I think anything that's going to start to build the enthusiasm, inspiration in order to maybe lead them into um, you know, aspirations for the future, I think that's really important. Here at the Emmanuel Centre in Langworthy, the young people involved are meeting for the first time. They're developing their skills with camera and sound equipment and they're brainstorming ideas for the documentary or short film. The programme has attracted young people who want to develop their filmmaking skills, but also those who want to raise awareness of the devastating impact of knife crime in Salford. Well, the idea of um, making a film that shows people about knife crime interested me, as it's becoming more and more prevalent every single day, and if something isn't done about it, nobody won't stop. I know a few people have been affected, friends and even family have been affected by it. Finding statistics on knife crime in Salford can be difficult due to the undercounting of recorded crime in the Greater Manchester Police Force prior to 2018. But teams like Real MCR give us enough evidence on how important the issue is. What we're trying to achieve is we're trying to raise awareness of knife crime. We're trying to make people, young people, think before they actually carry a knife, really. It's one of the main things. And to somehow try and lower the figures that we're getting at the moment of the tragic deaths through life crime and I think young people need to to make this for themselves and to think this for themselves we can't tell them what to do we're adults you know it's not it's not us we don't understand what's going on on the ground but for them themselves for them to make this for them to understand it for them to speak to people it's the only way you're going to make a difference once the project gets fully underway the group will be able to get out into the streets of Salford and put their new learnt skills into practice Harvey Fletcher, Salford Now.